Today is the day of my doctor's appointment. I'm not concerned at all because I usually go to this guy every six months just to get my Humira. Negative 4.25. I'm blind as a wombat. Welcome back to your daily dose, everybody. I'm getting ready to, to head out the door. And then actually, I thought of something kind of cool because I actually haven't been to my old workplace where I used to work in 2018, probably for a lot of you guys joined here on the channel. Cause I know a lot of you guys came around during COVID 2020, 2021. And I'm gonna be in that neck of the woods. So I figured why not go visit where I used to work way back when. And also, there used to be a time where I would really kind of care in the morning what my hair looked like on YouTube, but you know, it's my life. It's already die well documented. Here's what I look like in the morning. There's a lot of things you get desensitized to as a content creator. My hair getting made fun of is one. It's been a while since I've updated you guys on our bathroom, but we still don't have anything to to hang our towels on, it's kind of embarrassing, but we don't really know where to put it. And we don't really know what to do. Like we're gonna wait till my dad comes. So this is what we've been doing. Casey's been doing that and I've been putting mine right here. I threw it on the ground right now. Oh, <gasps> I forgot, I have, a, I have a shower update for y'all. Let's step on in here and boom. You see what that is? I got it off Amazon. Boom. Oh, Casey texted me. See, now I have a nice place to put my phone. This is like the only window we have on this side of the house. I like letting this light in, cause I don't know, TMI. I just like having that when I shower. Anyways, the countdown to our cruise on Friday begins. However, this is when I'm gonna start getting ahead of in the videos. I'm gonna have the live stream on Friday. And then I'm gonna be filming uh, or posting videos Saturday and Sunday for videos that I've filmed ahead of time. So we still have a daily dose. We keep that going and so on and so on. But I did think of a cool idea. As you know, we're going on Royal Caribbean's Allure of the Seas, my first time on that ship or first solo one in forever. Casey and I obviously found like these little ducks on the Disney Wish. And I was thinking maybe just maybe we hide it. Like when we find a duck, we go and we hide it on the next ship. So it has like a next ship to live on. So I think I'm gonna do that and hide this little guy. Hopefully I don't forget, cause I'm known to forget ducks. I'm back in the bathroom. Real quick, I kinda wanted to get your guys' opinion on something like this. This is gonna get done in the future, but this is just kinda like what I've been thinking about for a reno project, is expanding the shower. I don't really like the throne area, you know? The throne. I just don't like how it has its own space. Some people might like that. I don't know. I never grew up with that. And I don't know. I was thinking about knocking down this wall and maybe doing like a rain shower and making this a little bit better. So then, I mean, we'd have like a little receding wall here. So it just opens up the space. I don't know if it's possible to do that with how big the area is, but it's something that I thought of just to make this a little bit bigger and get rid of the throne room. I don't know, just just some ideas. Casey and I have been selling, um, or been selling, we've been watching um, Buying at Beverly Hills with uh, Umansky. Watch that, watch that show on Netflix, it's, it's really good. And we've just been kind of like looking at everything I'm like, hmm, obviously can't afford what they're doing, but we could take some inspiration and jazzercise the house up if we wanted. Still don't have any chairs. We haven't even looked for any chairs. We do need to get a chandelier for when my dad comes and he'll do that. We're gonna probably get some curtains. Actually, one of you we met inside Magic Kingdom and he's gonna help us get some lovely curtains that he put in his house, which is nice. And this morning I've kind of just been chilling. I've been planning out the Allure of the Seas series of what we're gonna be doing each and every single day. I'm actually going to not make that many videos this, this trip. I think I want to intend to make them a little bit longer. I think this series, let me pull it up here. We're gonna have one, two, three, wait, wait, wait. Where is it? There it is. One, two, three, four. Wait, wait, I am confusing myself. Okay. One, two, three, four. We go five. I think we're gonna have five videos. 
Usually I like to do six, seven, five it is. I will let you in on another secret here. Cause I know from time to time, some of you guys do not watch my videos every day. So for you guys watching, this is just for you. I booked another Disney cruise this year. It is unfortunately not the treasure, but it is something else. It is something else. Final payment I think is actually due today. I gotta call my travel agent. I feel like cruising to me is more so like a vacation. It's kind of unfortunate because like, you know, I view Disney now as kind of just like my backyard. I don't really view it as a vacation like my family does visiting. And I feel like most locals can kind of agree. Sure, we still get excited, but it's not like that getaway that we're used to Disney being when we didn't live here, or weren't experiencing it every day. I view it more as it's just my backyard and we're just, we're going to have fun. We're going to make a video. But cruises to me, because I don't experience it as often, is sort of kind of like that vacation, like the vacation videos, the vacation vibe. I feel like that's why I've been kind of enjoying making those videos a little bit more because it's like exciting, very exciting to just get away and, you know, do something different. And speaking of cruises, I'm about to book another one. That one is going to remain a mystery. First of all, real quick, this happens every time I wanna go check out my insurance. I'm having not problems with them, but I feel like insurance in America is always just, it's just such a headache. It's a two hour phone call. In this case, I can't even log in to access my, my stuff. So that's great. Ooh, they cut the grass today. I have someone to take care of my, my lawn, even though I feel like I could do it myself. Maybe one day I will, but looks like they cut it. And oh my gosh, they get these all dirty. However, um, I kind of want to talk more about my insurance. I feel like every time I bring this up, some of you guys think that I'm complaining or I'm talking about it like I can't afford the money. All that aside, like I'm just simply kind of just here to vent out my situation, just to put it out there and just to kind of see if you guys are going through, through the same thing. Because not a lot of people talk about it in America, I feel like. And I, I feel like I'm in a position where I can just kind of say, hey, here's what's going on. This is what is going on with me. However, um, for the past like three years, I've been going pretty much to the same doctor. I've had the same insurance, which obviously keeps going up. And obviously they send you like a huge packet of this much of what your whatever is all about. And obviously no one's reading that much of stuff on the insurance. And I... Uh, actually had this done last year, so it didn't even change for this year's insurance. It actually had something to do with last year, so I'm kind of like in a battle right now with my insurance company that my doctor supposedly didn't file my medication properly, and now I'm in charge of paying for like two to $3,000 worth of blood work that is very, very niche and simple. That I've been getting done for the past four years and it's been like an ongoing battle I'm like hey this isn't my fault it's like my doctor's fault who unfortunately filed it wrong or I don't even know what's going on I've been doing the same thing over and over again but apparently there is just something wrong that they did and they might not cover it even though it's been the same for the past two to three years. So I'm very confused. So I'm going to my doctor today to kind of like talk about that, be like, hey, uh, is there anything you can do? Because we've been doing everything the same. And this actually happened last year when I had the same coverage, the same everything. But I think it was just because my doctor didn't file it properly or let my insurance know that I was getting this blood work done, even though I've been getting it done for the past three years. It's just, it's a constant uh, thing of just what's gonna go wrong this time with insurance. And especially when you're, you're self-employed, it's just this never ending cycle of what's the next bill gonna be of something that supposedly was covered, but now it's not covered. It's just, I'm not really worried because I feel like I'm gonna not end up paying it, but it's just like, it's basic blood work that I've been getting done for the past couple of years, but all of a sudden, just because my doctor didn't file it right or do it beforehand to get it pre-approved, two to $3,000. Fun, right? So that's why I had asked in the previous vlog, I was just like saying, if any of you guys have any advice or anything, 
you know, let let me know. I'm pretty sure it's going to be all figured out, but we'll we'll find out today when we go to the doctor and we'll we'll go from there. So basically, now I got to get the blood work that I've been getting done for the past three years pre-authorized before I get the blood work done. Insurance companies in America are just great, aren't they? I think they're actually cutting my grass right now, or somebody's. I haven't really showed you guys my backyard, so I might as well show you guys the backyard and actually some improvements I might want to make. But then again, I don't really know because now the it has changed since we might not be getting, well, we're not getting a dog, but I'd like to put a little fence here in our little backyard. Welcome to the yards of Florida here. Where yards are, are not a thing. Probably the nicest thing that we really haven't utilized is our back patio. A, because it doesn't really have a view and B, we don't really have anything to sit on out here. Like, isn't this a very nice space? And not a lot of people have it fenced in either. You know, Skeeters, they'll get you here. They'll get you. This came fenced in. Pretty cool, right? We just need to get some seats. I was maybe thinking about mounting a TV here, maybe even finishing some stuff, getting some like cool designs. I don't know. I feel like there's just endless possibilities. However, the thing that kind of stinks is like the AC unit of our neighbor is right here and it's obviously constantly going. It's not like the quietest place on the planet. So that's why we usually kind of will be on the, on the front porch rather than back here, but it's lovely. It's so nice. We just need to get furniture and we do have a fan too for when it gets hot. And the backyard though, Here's the backyard. This is it, folks. This is all we have for the backyard. Like nine feet. It's not big at all. This is technically like on our property and that's the AC unit that continually runs. Have this big tree here. And I was thinking about maybe putting a fence. That is if we were to get a dog, but we really do enjoy this, this space here. Like you see how nice it is? It's very nice. And to have like that netting for no bugs is like such a perk. But as you can see, I have no yard. No yard at all. I mean, it's it's something, but it's not what I'm used to in, in the Midwest. I feel like if I w was to get a fence, I would need to remove this tree because this is probably right where the entrance would be. So I got to factor that in with the fence price as well. Just we don't get too many yards here in Florida. Unless you're out in like the boondocks. Also see, that's been dead since I've gotten here. I could replace it. I'll do it if the HOA says I need to, but they've been pretty nice with the grass. I feel like they're not really picky about that considering it's in the back. I think they're more concerned about the front aspect of what the house looks like. But yeah, they just cut the grass. Some very thick grass here. However, I'm really thankful for this. Just gotta find a, oh, there's a lizard. You see him? Oh my gosh. Just gotta, gotta get some stuff to utilize in here. It is quiet once the AC stops. It's very quiet. I love this neighborhood because it's so quiet. But hey, maybe like when the Packers are playing, we throw on the TV here. Just haven't done anything with this space. And the brick too, kind of gets like dirty. So we're gonna get like a, a ruggable or something down below here because I don't want it to get tracked in the house. But it is nice, like on nice cold days, which is very rare. And keep this patio open. There you have it, my backyard. That has been a hot request. And then of course, there's just one request I feel like I have to say, just please don't show up at my house, guys. Just respect my, my privacy and uh, I appreciate every single one of you, but um, I feel like that just kind of crosses the line. Yeah, I feel like most of you guys understand that. The joys of emptying out the dishwasher. I don't know if I told you because I saw a question. The reason why this is open a lot is so it dries. Casey likes to keep it open so it dries and doesn't get all moldy. I do need to start getting out of here. I've learned to schedule appointments, doctor's appointments, for after when they get back from their lunch because then you're like number one in line if you show up. At least how it operates at this doctor's office. They have no patience for an hour and then they pretty much begin a new day. And I'm first in line all the time. Which is what I like because I don't sitting two hours, one to three. Well, actually, it wasn't like sometimes it can take 
one to two hours for a doctor appointment. I don't like doing that. And I like to kind of like find a way to, I don't think anybody likes doing that. I like to find like a little way to have a workaround so we don't have to, or I don't have to. And that's the workaround. The more you know, right? I just thought of a cool thumbnail for, I don't know what the title of the video is, but I kind of just picture me like, and then there's a cool backyard that doesn't look like my backyard. <laughs> one can dream. One, I could put a pool back there, be a really small one, but I could. Some people have pools in this neighborhood. We are going just 13 miles. It's going to take a little bit over a half an hour. Welcome to Central Florida. I'm always early to my appointments or whatever it may be, but here's kind of a look at the building. It's in Kissimmee. It's more of kind of a, a rundown area or just like these old buildings. It's just a, it, it, I'm, I've been living here for a while and it's still just hard to get used to because healthcare in Wisconsin, I'm, I'm used to like all those like skyscraper buildings. You go to hospitals and they're really up to par, but a lot of the health down here, which is just so odd, is just very run down, at least from my experience, whether I worked for Disney and I had better health care and now I'm on my own and now I have, you know, my own insurance. We, we definitely need more rheumatologists down here in Florida go to school for that and definitely more doctors and nurses just we need better facilities and I feel like you wouldn't know that without you know watching these videos or moving down here and experiencing it yourself from my neck of the woods it's just a very different environment it kind of reminds me of New Orleans in a way we got a big dumpster over there that is like overflowing I wonder how long it's been like that for, or like how long it's been sitting like that for. Welcome to Kissimmee. A lot of traffic in Kissimmee. You'll find like three hundred, four hundred thousand dollar homes, maybe up into the fives, as well. It's a, it's a, it's affordable area. Just do your research if you do move down here. Looks like somebody left their lunch and their drink here. All this is though is just my six month checkup to get my uh, Humera. That's about it. He wanted to see me every three weeks, or sorry, three weeks, every three months in the years past. And I said, no, can we do six months? I mean, even one time a year would be great. So then I only have to do blood work once. I mean, side note, everybody usually in the healthcare here is is really nice. But I will say this doctor that I see, he's got like one star on Google. It's just because like the office, you can't get a hold of them. Uh, talk about an appointment nightmare. I don't know whose fault it is. This is actually just kind of hysterical at this point. So I had called to, I originally had an appointment tomorrow and then I had rescheduled it for today, but apparently they didn't do it on their end. It's no biggie. Just kind of sat here for a half hour and here we are. Mistakes happen. Good thing I have a pretty flexible, you know, job where I can, I guess, waste a half an hour but <laughs> his office is it's not, not the greatest. And you can kind of, like when I was sitting there, you know, there's people just sitting there whispering like, oh, they haven't fixed the TV yet. The door squeaks and yeah. It's not, not the greatest office, but hey, it, it is what it is at this point. It's all good. I just happy it happened to me versus somebody else who can't really flex their time. All good. Let's go to my old workplace because we're in the neck of the woods here. Mistakes happen. It's not the end of the world. It's all good. Wow. Well, here we are. Target. Back in 2018, when I wanted to stay here down in the summer, I had to find a job so I could daily vlog and go to the parks. It was this Target that I I worked. I have not stepped foot in this Target since 2018. Apparently there was like a, there's a lot of theft 
that goes on in this area. And I didn't really know how, not of an area that I'm familiar with when I had applied here, but it was the only job I could find and that had hired me quickly. So we're back. Might as well stop here and get something that I need for the, for the place. But it's crazy how full circles, this is a full circle moment when I was daily vlogging for the first time, I was also working at Target. I would work here and then I would go to the parks where I'd go to the parks and then I'd come here. And then I moved back down in 2019. Here we are, Target. I used to park over here and I would walk on in every day over here and then electronics, I used to work electronics department. Some of you actually came and visited me while I was working. Comment down below if you did that. Ooh, they changed it up. Electronics used to be in this corner. Wow, it's actually nice now. I wonder where they put the electronics, probably in the back. This was my stomping grounds. I applied at Target because I knew I would be able to get a job at Target because I used to work at a Target up in Wisconsin and they hired me really quick, which was perfect. Well, I was kind of hoping it was gonna be the same and it's clearly not, but hey, this is a Target I used to work at. <laughs> Even at this Target, I used to I used to make videos, kind of just like I think I used was it it wasn't TikTok it was it was something else. So I made like Instagram posts while I was working. They didn't mind. They're cool. It makes sense. They moved the electronics back here. Wait a second. This is like an interesting Target setup because usually they have like a back TV wall. There's not like an aisle for TVs. This is different. I kind of dig it. They did a lot of work in this Target. <laughs> wow, look at this. They have like a stream deck thing. It's the first time I've seen that in a Target. And look at the wireless mics. It's cool seeing that. Times have changed. Oh my gosh, they have Astros in here too? Wow. Today has, has been a day. A good day though. There's like nobody here. Little did I know that it wasn't in the best area that Target, which I think... Maybe that's why it's like very empty. There's, it's a ghost town and it's like mid shopping day. Very thankful that for that place though. It's where the daily vlogs essentially started. Everything that I was dreaming of while working in that place, I feel like I've accomplished. Just, you know, it's interesting going back and it's like a full circle moment. I was, even though it doesn't look the same. What a time, right? I wanted to come by the developer and this is actually where the Florida project was filmed. It's a, it's a movie. I don't know what it's on right now, but they actually repainted everything. This used to be purple. Some people live in here, really cheap rent. Wouldn't say some weird activities goes down here, but I feel like some of you guys might get the gist of what goes down over here. If you guys want to watch the movie Florida Project, this is where it was filmed. It used to be purple. Looks different now. Definitely rebranded. There's the pool. It's right by Disney World. I mean, hey, this is... Kind of reminds me of the resort or the hotel that Taylor stayed at when she was here that one year. It's kind of like the same type of feeling. Yeah. I don't want to stick around here too long, though. Interesting. Nice little Publix run, and we're back. Gotta get the strawberries and bananas for the smoothies. But if you go to Publix, you guys know, obviously we got pub subs. There was no line for pub subs, so I had to get a pub sub, of course. Because I couldn't even tell you the last time I had a pub sub. They're really good. I only get the small ones just because I don't want to have that big of a sub with the amount of calories are in these bad boys. And, you know, I eat in the parks a lot, so this is kind of unhealthy. But I needed to. Like, I just needed to, you know? Um, however... I think that's gonna kind of wrap up today's daily dose. Casey should be getting home any minute from work. And this is kind of like when we kind of just do a lot off camera, as I've been explaining, but what a day, a weird day. Thought we had a doctor's appointment. We technically wasted an hour and a half of our day, but it's, it's all good. Mistakes happen. And I guess 
I don't mind that it's me. I'd rather it be me than somebody else who, I don't know, had to take off from their nine to five. So I feel really grateful. But um, with that, I'll see you guys tomorrow. And um, yeah, what a day, eh? What a day.